Hey there, I'm Dr. Linda Burke. I'm a board certified OBGYN physician. And I want to comment about an article in the New York Times that talked about weight loss drugs being taken before people get pregnant. Normally, you know, I just stay in my lane. When I hear about a new weight loss drug that hits the market, it's like, oh God, here we go again. And the reason I feel that way is because many of these drugs are approved by the FDA. And then 20 years later, they're pulled from the market because of side effects. And I have, I hope I'll be able to show it to you, a screenshot of um, the, the receipts from PubMed that documents this. So I, I have a problem. What you do with your, you know, what you do is your business um, as long as it doesn't affect anyone else but you. But if you do something or take a medication that could potentially harm someone else, you know, we have to talk about that. So in the article in the New York Times, you know, they, the, the title is Hope and Fear About Weight Loss Drugs Being Taken Before Pregnancy. And so it's the fear that I need. I, I think we need to talk about. Long story short, um, it is beautiful that you're trying to get pregnant. It's beautiful that you're, tr you're trying to lose weight. But what is alarming is you don't know what these drugs will do to your unborn child. And even Ozempic clearly in their ads say, taking this medication could potentially harm the fetus. Now, you know, in full, uh, you know, to be fair and balanced, JAMA has come out with an article December 11th by, there was one study from Sweden that said, hey, it's okay to take this drug. And I'll give you the receipt for that as well. Uh, they looked at 50,000 women and pregnant women, and there were no, uh, no major, um, major, what we call a medicine, teratogenic effects. Basically, they didn't find evidence that a fetus was harmed. But there are, it, and it was a cohort study, you know, basically looking at a group of people. I won't go into the epidemiology, you know, because we don't need to. But the bottom line is, this was only one study. And even the, the manufacturer, the, the pharmaceutical company that makes Ozempec, they're not even, to my knowledge, talking about this one study that claims that Ozempec uh, or, or these GLP-1 drugs don't affect the, the fetus. And even in the study, they said, we need more research. Okay, so in conclusion, I want y'all to hit, you know, when. For those of you, 10% of women have infertility, and I was one of them, okay? I didn't do IVF, you know, I was blessed. I'm a mother through adoption, and I'm, I'm, I, I am so grateful. That's a whole nother story for another time. But for those of you who are trying to conceive via I, IVF, and you are trying to lose weight, I want y'all to hit pause before you, you know, do that stampede rush and jump on the train because every trend because everyone else is doing it. And for my colleagues out there who are prescribing this medication, and can we say, just throw this in, that this is a $3 billion industry, and by 2030, it's estimated to be a, a $300 billion industry. You know, so there's a lot of, and it shouldn't surprise anybody, there's a lot of financial incentives involved to prescribe these meds. I'm saying, for my colleagues, be responsible. For pregnant moms, please do your due diligence, you know, because the jury's still out about the safety regarding these meds. So I thank you for listening as always. And if you uh, want to get any more information like this, please subscribe to my channel.